Welcoming the presence of all that is, Reiki Masters, Ascended Masters, Spirit and Animal Guides, Angelic Realm Support, and Benevolent Beings of the Highest Truth and Compassion, we invite and welcome this energy and influence that serves our most empowered and aligned selves. And so it is. Hello, beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to Energy and Light Awakening. In today's session, we're going to be focusing on removing abundance blockages. And this does include, but is not limited to, financial abundance. We really do want to be open to all that life has to offer us, not just a few things way we're able to live a happier, more productive life. We're able to do more, to give more, support our friends, our family, give more freely to charities if we so choose. So let's just take a moment and set the intention. What is it that you would like to achieve in the session? What would you like to let go of? Are you aware of the things you want to let go of? Or are you just going to be open to receive what you require at this time? Either one or both is fine. And let's set our intentions to have the most powerful session that we can have especially when it comes to these matters, because I know many of us have difficulties in dealing with receiving abundance. And of course, it's always wonderful to have a lot of financial support, but a reminder is just because you have a lot of money doesn't mean necessarily that you're going to be a happy person. There are millions of people who have lots of money, but are not happy. So it's really important that you remember that true abundance, whether it's something small or large that brings us joy and happiness, is not outside of ourselves, but inside. In order to receive the things that we desire, we must have a good and healthy relationship especially when it comes to money, because oh, a lot of us have major issues when it comes to money. This also includes a healthy mindset when it comes to how we feel about others that have the things that we want or desire. It is human nature to get upset or angry or maybe a little jealous at times, but we have to remember these feelings, these thoughts and emotions will push away what we desire even further. So we need to start changing that mindset to a healthy, positive one and seeing it for what it truly is. If this person can do it, then so can I. And if you don't know that person, maybe get to know them or talk to them, ask questions, find out how they got to where they are or have the things they have and they can give you some really helpful information that might save you a lot of time if you were trying to research it and do it on your own. Another one of the issues that we often face is guilt. We do want these things, but deep down, how do we truly feel? Do we actually think or believe we deserve it? And where does this feeling come from? It usually stems from our childhood, our parents. How did they think about money in abundance? What did they transfer to us? All these false beliefs, we don't really deserve it or we're not worthy. This isn't true. The divine co-creates with us and the divine wants us to have these things because again, the more we have, the more we can do, the freer we are. And this is how we are truly meant to live our lives in absolute freedom. And another thing that holds us back sometimes financially, money is energy like anything else, and energy needs to move and flow. And sometimes when we get money, we want to hang on to it or hoard it. 
And of course, there's nothing wrong with saving money or having some set aside for emergencies. But it needs to move. It needs to come and go. That is the natural flow of everything. And it's something that helped me as well. When you think of it as energy, think, think of it as movement. It needs to move as all things in life every day. We are moving. Things around us are moving. Experiences are happening, moving. So remember, that's the same with money. It needs to come, it needs to go. And it will always do so. Even if you try not to, something will force you. That is just the law of nature. So finding ways to work on ourselves, to remove these false beliefs, working on doing the inner work, the shadow work, until we truly believe and know that we deserve everything that we desire. And one of the most powerful tools that I found that works fairly quick is reprogramming your subconscious mind. So in case you don't know, the best time to reprogram to the subconscious mind is right when we're falling asleep or right when we're waking up. So listening to subliminals or affirmations while you sleep I use my iPod or sometimes I just have my computer on and let it play throughout the night. There's so many amazing tools and techniques at our disposal. There's no excuse anymore. This is the information age. There's so much out there that we can constantly try until we find what works for us. And another great way to attract what we desire is by giving generosity. And this doesn't always have to be a grand gesture. It can be as simple as a compliment. You could put money in the meter for a car that you notice is about to expire. The simplest thing, it's again, the energy behind it, the thoughtfulness, the generosity giving from the heart, not just let me do this so I can get something, where's my stuff, not like that but truly giving out of the kindness of your heart will always attract more back to you. And of course, one of the most simple ways that I think all of us are familiar with by now is giving gratitude, holding that gratitude in your heart, just taking a moment several times throughout the day and before bed, give gratitude for this meal, for this home, I have a car, I'm healthy, all of the simple things and all the extravagant things. You are abundant already. Look at all the things you have now, all the things you've had throughout your life. And how often do you take time to give gratitude for these things and just to be thankful? There's also many different practices you can incorporate into your life, whether they be daily or weekly. One of the powerful things that I like to do is ritual. And you can have like a little altar or a corner of a shelf or desk next to your bed. Set aside a special space, make it sacred, and have only the things that you are focusing on, the things that give you power. Have abundance candles, essential oils or candles, and just decorate it and make it your own. Make it personal and maybe once a week with your candle, um, carve into the candle what it is you're working on. I like to do that as well. Add some essential oil to the candle, or if you're working with fire or water elements, use essential oils in the water. Or you can write things down on the paper and burn it, consecrate with fire and then put whatever it is out into the earth. If you've seen my videos, you know that I always like to give back to the earth or cover it up. I recommend doing this in a specific spot as well. Make it sacred space. It doesn't have to be a really complicated ritual. It can be as simple as you want it to be, depending on what you're working on. It should never feel stressful. It should always be joyful and fun and playful. It's something fun. You're putting that good positive energy, that high frequency out there to attract what you desire. 
And something else I like to do, I've shared this before a few years ago. I actually have several of these, but I don't wear them as often as I used to in my videos. Um, the two on the outside, these are actually aromatherapy lockets. Let me show you one up close. Um, you just open it up. It has this little piece of felt and you just put whatever scent on it. This helps keep your frequency up. But also, um, I have a tiny little piece of selenite in here. And I like to write down on a piece of paper what it is I'm working on. This is something I've done for years. I just, I don't know, it just came about. It felt very natural for me. And I fold up that little square of paper and I keep it in the locket and then I just wear it on my person. I have even little tiny ones that I wear uh, around my ankle or on my wrist. And this is a really large one. And you can put more stuff in here if you like. Sometimes I'll put uh, an herb. I also, I always put the piece of paper with whatever it is I'm working on. And I use it in an I am affirmation as, it's, as if it has already been accomplished because that's the feelings and the emotions that we want to create, feeling that it's already done, will bring it to us faster. So I put the little piece of paper in here, or herbs, maybe a little sliver of a stone, whatever you feel guided to do. Again, make it personal, make it mean something, make it powerful for you. And also something else I like to do. Um, I have a special tablet or notebook, or it could be like a journal. And every day, as I'm starting my day doing my morning ritual, I write down 10 times, again, I am affirmation confirming. It is already done. I've already achieved or accomplished what I wanted. And I will write it 10 times over and over. And I have like so many stacks of these things. But again, that is just what's personal, what works for me. I would recommend trying different things. I mean, there's thousands of methods. Um, until you find what works for you, but I don't stop there. Like I continue to do what works for me, but I'm always still trying new and different things. It keeps it fresh. It keeps everything moving. And I find it's also very helpful to, um, read or listen to, I prefer audiobooks. um, listening to abundance books, even if it's just a chapter a day, even if it's just for 10 minutes. This is very powerful. You're constantly listening to, um, not affirmation, you're, you're constantly listening to someone else's ideas and you're just putting that manifestation energy out there. So I find that really keeps my energy lifted and focused as well. But again, these are just things that are significant and powerful for me. And also, um, I will list below some of the books that I recommend that I have found to be the most helpful. Okay, so I'd like to go over some of the stones I'm going to be using during the Reiki session. And these are what is known as gold stones. They're very pretty, they're tan, they're kind of sparkly. And though all stones have several meanings, I am using these specifically to help open us up wherever those blockages are, to help our personal power, to help our ego, to help our motivation. So there's a lot going on here. It's not just solely um, affirm, or it's not, it's not just solely abundance because we all have different blocks in different areas of our bodies. So physically and mentally. And we are also going to be working with, of course, citrine, which is one of the most popular. And when I'm working with this, I'm actually going to hand it to you. I also have some little citrine pebbles here. And when I give this to you, I want you to envision holding it over your um, solar plexus. And I want the pointed side out as to absorb even more as I am doing the Reiki. I will aim it towards this point to help better absorb. And the last two we're going to be using is my yellow jade, which I absolutely love. It has such gentle energy, but is very powerful. And of course, fool's gold. 
or pyrite, as it's also known as, which is also um, a very powerful stone. I'm also going to be using um, several powerful symbols during the session. Of course, all the regular Reiki symbols, but also uh, Karuniki Reiki and some Grandmaster symbols as well. And you may feel a little different during the session. I always try to create very powerful and healing sessions, but some of them tend to be a little stronger than others, and I pretty much have a feeling that this is going to be that way. So you might feel a little dizzy or lightheaded, but that's okay, it'll pass. It might just be the regular tingles or maybe flashes of color or light. But please make sure to drink lots of water today. You really need to hydrate, which we should all be doing anyway, but sometimes it's more important than others. So we really want to hydrate and flush and keep that en energy moving because water is a very powerful conduit as well for moving energy. As we begin this Reiki session, I'm also going to be using some very powerful affirmations to help reprogram you. I am worthy of what I desire. I have everything I need to be successful. I am grateful for the positive things in my life. I am open to limitless possibilities. I achieve whatever I set my mind to. I am smart, capable, and talented. I believe in myself. I am ready to share my gifts with the world. I surrender to the wisdom of the universe. I am my best source of motivation. I am creative and open to new solutions. I choose to embrace the mystery of life. I choose faith over fear. I allow everything to be as it is. I am attracting miracles into my life. I am open to receiving unexpected opportunities, abundance and wealth. I am aligned with my purpose. I am worthy of positive changes in my life. I am grateful for the abundance that I have and the abundance that's on its way. I am capable of achieving greatness. I am attracting money to me easily and effortlessly. I am always having enough money. I am a money magnet. 
I am making money easily. I am grateful for money. I love money because money loves me. Money is energy and there is enough to go around for everyone. I am generous with my money. I am changing the world with my money. I am worthy of the wealth I desire. I love to give money a good home. I am open to receiving what is the highest and best for all. I am releasing all resistance to attracting money. I am financially free. I am aligned with the energy of abundance. I am capable of overcoming any money obstacles that stand in my way. I am boldly conquering my money goals. I deserve to make more money. I am accepting and receiving unexpected money. Light language activations for abundance and financial freedom. Shanna Be patient with yourself. This is an ongoing process. Even when you make improvements, there's always room for more improvement. And for some of us, it could take weeks, months, years, but don't let that frustrate you. Just keep doing the work, keep making the progress. Every little thing helps. So thank you so much for joining me. It is an honor and a privilege to assist you and serve you. I truly and deeply appreciate you so very much. And until my next video, there's much love for you here. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam.